Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can easily back up your Mac using Apple's pre-installed application called Time Machine. Now you might be asking, what am I really gaining by backing up my computer? Well, there's a lot of different reasons why you might want to back up your computer, but the main one is file loss. Trust me, it is not fun to lose all your files. It's not something you really want to experience at all, it's, it's just awful. So you'll lose all your applications, photos, music, pictures, everything like that, and that's not fun. Trust me, you want to back up your computer. So the first thing you need to do to back it up is obviously you're going to need an external hard drive of some type. Uh, a lot of common ones are USB, and you can just pick that up pretty much anywhere, actually. And uh, even Walmart, places like that, you're just going to plug it into your computer, that's all. Now you're going to open up a new finder window next. And from there, you're going to need to go to your Applications folder. And from inside your Applications folder, you can just scroll over until you find System Preferences. And then you can open up System Preferences. Now, once you're in System Preferences, you're just going to click on the Time Machine icon. And you're going to turn on Time Machine. And all you have to do to do that is slide this big kind of slider here. So just slide that. And then you're going to hit select disk. And from here you're going to see all the disks that you can use to use as a backup. So I'm just going to choose this one called backup and click use for backup. Now it's going to tell me that I want to it wants me to erase the the uh, drive because it's in an incompatible format, which a lot of them are so you're just going to want to click erase unless you have stuff on there that you want which in that case you're going to want to save that so I'm going to click erase and it only takes a couple seconds to erase so right here it tells you when the next backup is going to be and that is in 90 seconds so once it does that it'll start backing up your entire the entire contents of your Mac and this is going to take a while so it's best to even do this overnight or something like that because it's not something you're just going to want to sit and wait for to get done. So just let it do its thing and you know come back in the morning or a couple hours later and it should be done and your entire Mac should be backed up with no problems. So it's been all night, you've backed up your entire computer and it's all good now. Uh, what do you do with it now? You know, If you don't know what to do with it, it's not going to be very useful. So there's two main functions of Time Machine. You can either restore your computer to how it looked at a previous state. We're not going to get into that here. That doesn't usually happen. Your computer usually doesn't just quit. Uh, but the really nice feature of it is the ability to recover lost files. So I'm going to show you how you're going to do that now. So we have a new finder window open here. And I'm going to accidentally delete something from my applications folder. We'll delete this icon file here. So we'll put it in the trash and we'll empty the trash so now that that icon file is gone what are we going to do well in our applications folder we're going to scroll over and find the time machine application and it's right there you're going to open it up now your desktop's going to slide down and it's a pretty cool effect and now you're in this like space type of scenario and you can see all the way back a list of all your how your mac looked every time it backed it up now i only have one backup here but normally you'd see a list flying all the way back and it would show you all your backups looked. So on this side right here you can see all of your backups and you can click on any one of these if they were there and you would just instantly fly to that date. You can also achieve the same effect by clicking the arrows back and forth. So in our current folder here you can see that that icon file is gone. So if we go back to how our Mac looked before you can see this icon file is still here. So what I can do is I select the file and all I have to do is go down to this corner right here and click restore and the time machine is going to slide out of the way and the file is just going to pretty much magically pop right back in your folder and it's pretty cool how it works it, it's very seamless and it works very well and you can see our icon file is right back where we left it so that's pretty easy and it's kind of even just fun to play around with like restoring files just because of how cool it looks in my opinion uh, 
So that's really all you need to know to back up your computer with Time Machine. And I hope you found this video helpful and hopefully it'll save you some data down the road. Thank you.